All right, y'all hear me okay? Check, check, check. Good. What's going on everybody? Eric Barassa here, and today I want to teach you one of my favorite songs from one of my top two favorite bands of all time with maybe my favorite guitar solo of all time on my favorite guitar of all time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And did I shave for you guys today? No, because I watched She-Hulk instead. I did that for you guys. I watched She-Hulk so I could get my mojo up so I could be ready to make this beautiful video for you on Third Eye Blind's Jumper. Jumper was a huge hit back in the 90s and Third Eye Blind's self-titled album, Third Eye Blind, is the first compact disc I ever received back when I was in the sixth grade. I will never forget hearing Semi-Charmed Life on the radio and going, what is that? And to this day, bold statement, I consider Third Eye Blind's first album to be the greatest rock album of all time. Of all time? Of all time. Am I biased? Yes! Uh, do I care? No. Um, I would rather listen to that rock album than any other rock album I have ever heard. It is that good. Um, it's not even, Jumper is not even the best song on the album, but it was maybe their biggest hit. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, let's dive in. The chords are basically F, C, and G for the intro. <laughs> I wish you would step back from that ledge, my friend. You could cut time, cut, cut, cut time. And anyway, not a great singer. So basically just F major seven. So you can leave that first string open on that F. Regular old C. On G, you could do the four finger G, which is probably more accurate. Um, but I actually like the sound of the three finger G on this song, which is pretty unusual for, for me. And then you can add this little at the end, uh, where you just lift off finger two on string six, open string, hammer to three, and then hit one of the, either the fifth string or the fourth string after, and then strum. Yeah, yeah, so we got... Like that. And the strum pattern I'm doing is one, two, three, four, and 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 right? So half note, quarter, eighth, eighth, half note, quarter, eighth, eighth, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. And you can keep that going throughout the, the whole song, basically. Um, but when we get to the verse, now we've got uh, A minor. Hold it out, and then C, and then G and then build. Right, so, the yank, the yank. I can't say it. <laughs> okay, so I just wanna talk about this part of the verse, A minor to C, and then you go to the G chord, then you're gonna hit an open G, turn your wah pedal on. So you get your wah pedal cocked back, and then you're slowly gonna bring it forward, like this. And then we do that a couple times, and then the third time through, we do A minor, D, C. And then here, you're gonna take that C chord and slide the C shape up two frets to make a D, add 11. And then we're back to the chorus, which is the same as the intro. Thank you. 
after the chorus, it just continues doing F, C, and G over and over again. And then uh, the bass kind of has this little bass solo thing where it's an F to a C to a G, kind of like a... And then very quietly in the background, you hear Kevin Cadigan, one of my absolute favorite guitar players, who I'm so lucky I got to meet a few years ago when he and former members of Third Eye Blind that had all been kicked out by Stephen Jenkins came and did they came and did a free show in Dallas uh, under the name XEB, and they performed the first album in its entirety for the uh, 20th anniversary. Uh, and I got a chance to tell Kevin that he and Joe Satriani are like my top two favorite guitar players. And he was like, whoa. And he's like, that was my guitar teacher. I'm like, I know. I was like, did he teach you how to do this? <laughs> Basically what's happening in the solo is you've got think uh C C major scale B C B C B C B C D G and then we go to the first string 13 and 12 13, 13, 12, 13, 12. And it's a, a hammer pull. So pick, pick, and then pluck 12, hammer to 13, pull back to 12. And then on the second string, I'll do 12, slide to 15. And then we start over. And then we get big heavy chords. Getting us back into the chorus at the end of that solo. Um, so that's basically it. That you you basically have this. And then you have uh this. Twice. And then a third time. Pretty pretty simple song, really, but the way it builds, the intensity is there. It's really great. And if you've never listened to Third Eye Blind's very first album, it is fantastic. Um, I'm probably going to do more of these videos to uh, do more songs by by one of my top two favorite bands of all time. I'll let you guess who the other one is. So uh, if you dug this, be sure and like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing many more Third Eye Blind songs. This is one of the easiest, along with Never Let You Go. Um, but as we get into it, it's going to be become harder because of some weird tunings that uh, Kevin likes to use. And uh, yeah, stick around for more, and I'll see you guys in the next times.